Fry from Harry Fry and Associates, and I thought we'd uh, talk a little bit today about uh, the Section 179 and bonus depreciation as it gets towards year end here. So Section 179, what is it? It was, uh, it, it is an expense that was permanently put into place at the $500,000 level, but it also has um, gone back to adding another $10,000 a year based on inflation. So for 2017, the write-off is $510,000, and uh, it can be taken on up to $2,030,000 in equipment purchases for this year. Uh, this incentive allows you to add equipment to your, to your company and have that expense, that full write-off, to come right off your gross income. In addition, if you buy new equipment, it's also, um, you also qualify for bonus depreciation on that purchase so after the cap is reached. So after 510,000, you also get the 50% uh, bonus depreciation. So let's, let's talk about some of the frequently asked questions. It's gonna be very basic. So what equipment would qualify? Really any new or used equipment that you purchase that's gonna be used in your business. Office furniture, office equipment, uh, computers, business vehicles, cranes, construction equipment, anything that you use for your business can be um, qualified, can, can qualify. When does the equipment need to be purchased by? So it needs to be purchased and in service between January, of, January 1st, 2017 and midnight December 31st, 2017. What, um, what if I lease or finance the equipment? Yeah, you can do that. That qualifies as well. You can finance it on a loan or equipment finance agreement. You'll be able to take advantage of the deduction. And also, if you lease it, you can take advantage of it. It would have to be on a non-tax, you know, capital, non-tax lease. So a capital lease, a dollar buyout, a lease with a purchase option, that would also qualify. So let's take a look and see, you know, an example of what your savings will be. So let's say you buy a new piece of equipment that costs 600,000 new. So your first, your section 179 deduction would be 510,000 right off the top. Then you would have, because it's new, you'd be eligible for the 50% bonus depreciation. And that would be 45,000, because it would be the 600 less the 510. Then you would also have your normal first year depreciation, and that would be 9,000. So that would be 20% of the 45. So the total your total first year deduction, right, would be 564,000. So your tax savings now would be, say you're a 35% tax rate, you'd be 35% of the 564, that would be 197,400. So your, your total equipment cost now comes down to 4026. So you're really, you know, you're really getting a good tax savings by adding this this year. Um, and I always would suggest that you would just, you know, at least touch base with your CPA or tax preparer. You want to make sure that. Um, you know, how it works specifically for your company. So that's it. I, I just wanted to get a quick, you know, a quick look at Section 179. Um, as Albert Einstein says, you don't really understand something unless you can tell it to your grandmother. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> and, you get, and if you need any more information, you can call us here at Harry Fry and Associates. Thanks. Hope the video was helpful.